do, folks. My words, my opinion. Subscribe, like, ring the bell, hang the gong, buy some of my merch. Okay, folks. Some people out there are throwing double jeopardy, okay, at the removal of Trump from the ballots of state presidential elections. Arguing double jeopardy uh, falls here. Okay, well, arguing that Trump was already tried for the insurrection in Congress, okay, well, is first off, I have a question, is that actually considered a, that's not a court of law, okay, <laughs> okay, he wouldn't have been sent to prison or other thing, he would have been removed from his job. So the threat of double jeopardy generally applies to loss of freedom. Um, it can, some people believe, carry over to a civil case. Um, but Trump was never in jeopardy, okay, of anything other than losing his job as president. That's what the impeachment is, to remove the person <laughs> okay, from office. So that's a question there. All right. But it comes down to the fact that should it be in federal? Well, no. Removing somebody from a ballot or presidential election is not a federal issue. States conduct their elections for their electoral votes. Okay. These are states that conduct it. It's not at the federal level. So, no, this shouldn't be in federal court. And then the double jeopardy doctrine falls into place because he was impeached at a federal level. Sorry. Federal government has nothing to do with presidential elections other than Congress accepting the electoral votes from states. States are the ones that decide the elections. So. Each state has to be challenged to remove somebody from the ballot. You can't do it at a federal level because federal government has nothing to do with state presidential elections. It's in the, it's in the goddamn handbook for the United States government. <laughs> it's okay. My words, my opinion, I'm going to get some flack on this uh, from all of these legal minds out there. All right. But it's uh, obvious. Okay. That's why. Trump had to go to different states and challenge the elections at the state level for those 61 cases that he tried to, you know. <clears throat> and people don't seem to re remember when Giuliani was in court and the judge says, you know, one of these 61 cases, all right, give me your evidence. Well, we don't really have any evidence that there was a stolen election. Okay, and that's what's coming out. You know, they asked... Uh, you know, one of the uh, defendants, I don't know, remember exactly which one. So, so you believe the election in 2020 was stolen? Yes. Well, by who? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you think it was stolen. You have evidence, but you don't know who did it. All right. My words, my opinion, but no. The removal of anybody off of a presidential ticket, a ballot, has to be done at the state level. And Trump, if you want to argue W Jeopardy, was never never tried at a state level. My words, my opinions. Subscribe, like, ring the bell, bang the gong. But some people want to tell you that double jeopardy applies because to take them off the ballot should be a federal issue. Sorry, states conduct their elections. Feds do not conduct presidential elections. My words, my opinions.